You know how sometimes you're mixing and the vocals seem a bit too quiet, so you push the fader up? And now it's obnoxiously loud, so you push it down again. Never, never, never took a and now it's not loud enough anymore. And it feels impossible to find the correct level for that signal. And the reason may be because you're not compressing enough or not at all, but that's a beginner mistake. I'm not talking about that. I already assume that you know how to EQ and compress properly. Okay, so what's the problem? The problem is that it's too small. It's not occupying enough space in the mix. Right? So I am one person speaking right now, but if I had a crowd with me saying the exact same thing, even if the level on the meters is exactly the same, it will feel bigger and louder and it will be easier to listen to, to hear it in the mix. So how can you have more of it? That's the whole trick, have more of the same signal. Effects, that's an obvious one. Reverb, delay, distortion, phaser, flanger. The more variations you have of the same signal, the bigger it will feel. So if you have the vocal alone in the whole mix, even if it has the correct level, it will feel small, it will be difficult to listen to. To, oh, that's the vocal, I can understand what they're saying. However, if you have more of it, if you have reverb, delay, distortion, whatever else, alongside with it, even if it's the same level, it will be bigger, it will occupy more space in the mix, it will be easier to hear. Not louder, more of it. That's the whole trick. Now, I briefly mentioned distortion, so click on this video to learn another mixing trick that utilizes parallel distortion to make the mix feel fuller and heavier. So click right here, and I'll see you in the next video.